I think this is a perfect show for you, and I'm so glad that you're doing more of them. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, we're doing what well, they picked us up. Uh, we're doing another uh, season. And, and it's the world. <laughs> it's a lovely show. You know, I, I've long been a huge fan of yours, and I, I could watch you read from uh, a phone book, as they say, and whatever you're doing something, the eye goes to, to, to you. I, it really does. I'm a fascinated to watch you. And now you have this show where if something interests you, you go and you just ask all these questions, and you find out about things that fascinate you. It's a great idea for a show. Huh. Was this something that you pitched? Did they come to you? Did someone else have this idea? No, you know what happened? I was, they had that show uh, on the uh, uh, Nat Geo channel, um, Explorer, mm -hmm. and they were tinkering around with the format, and they had me sub-host an arc of three. Right. And I did it, had a great time, loved them, and then we started, they, they got the idea that we started nice. to talk about it, and, uh, you know. What, now, you've been investigating all kinds of things. What have you wanted to investigate that you haven't investigated yet, or something that you just really want to get into? I think we've already chosen, we've talked about it, the first four episodes are going to be, I hope I can mention them, are um, uh, dogs. I love dogs. I'd love to know more about dogs. And also fireworks. We may do. Good we combo, do. by the way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good? Yeah. Dogs, fireworks. fireworks. Mm, like it always goes well. Mm, yeah. It's not going to be part of the same episode. Oh, yes, okay. okay. So, yeah. 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 Uh, uh, monsters and, and magic. Maybe magic. magic. Yes. Now, are you a guy that's interested in magic? I like magic. Yeah, I've always liked magic a little bit. I was, I, I was interested in uh, Houdini early on. I read an article when I was a kid. And uh, do you do magic? I don't. No. Um, do you know Johnny Carson did magic? Johnny Carson, uh, the great uh, talk show legend of all time, yeah. was very good at magic. He was almost professional level that's, magician. That's yeah. right. We, he, did, know, he did uh, close-up work. He was very good hand. at sleight of hand. That's right. He produced The Big Chill in 1983. We went to his Malibu house, the cast, for an icebreaker. Did I ever tell you about that? No. You and went to uh, Johnny Carson's house? We did. And he was there for an afternoon and, uh, and had a colorful sweater on, uh, uh, speaking of which, and... Um, and did he entertained us with some magic for a while? That's right. Did you learn any magic? Did you? Uh, I learned magic, and I brought. I knew we might talk about this, so I brought something that I could possibly show you. Um, Robert Altman, the great Robert Altman. Anybody know Robert Altman? <laughs> I know Robert Altman. Um, and, and he was directed by I, Robert I was Altman in a Robert Altman movie. Yeah. yeah. What you do? Doctor T and the Women. Yeah. Of course you did yeah. with Laura Dern and Richard Gere. Yeah. Laura Dern, I'm going to be reunited with um, uh, in Jurassic World. Oh. We're going to, and Sam Neill and the current cast. It all comes together. It all comes together. In any case, I did this movie Nashville in 1973, mm -hmm. and I learned a bunch of tricks that he said bring, and, uh, and I learned some rope tricks, and the only thing that I've kept up with is my rope tricks. Oh, I'd love to see a rope trick. I could do a, a little series of rope tricks. Right, here. here we go. Here's, now, watch closely. Watch closely. Here is a knot right there. Yeah. That oh. has disappeared. Oh, oh, what happened that. to that knot? Yeah. Here also is a. That's certainly a. Oh my gosh, that's certainly a knot. But what happened to that knot? Oh, oh did you hear the audible gasp? This is like children at a party. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a, now watch closely. If you're a magician like I myself, you can make an actual knot with. Um, yes, with one hand. Whoa! Like that. That, was, that was great. Thank you so much. Thank you. And then, fi and then finally, when I was a kid, I used to, of course, just like you, get my shoes all... Oh, boy. That was a... It used to be disastrous like that, right? Yeah. But watch this blow on this. Maybe you're magical, too. Oh, what... Ah! Oh! <laughs> Incredible! Thank you so much. That was very nice. <laughs> you know what? That is... That is a talk show guest, someone who comes out, does some scatting, some musical bits, some funny stories, and then uh, ends yeah. with rope tricks. Right. That is impressive. Johnny Carson stories. And Johnny Carson yeah, stories, yeah. that was amazing. Uh, I want to mention something uh, at the very end. First of all, before we do, I want to make sure we show a clip. This is a clip of the world according to Jeff Goldblum. And I think this is a fascinating segment where uh, people who've lost their pets uh, and who cremate the pet but want to still say, stay close to the pet have an interesting way of doing it. Should we show the clip? Please. Let's take a look. Yes. I had already set up to have her cremated because I wanted to keep her with me forever. What, yeah, um, what did you imagine you'd do? Yes, yes. I could not believe this was possible, yeah. but I was able to turn her ashes, a small portion of her ashes, into a diamond. 
Jacob discovered the world of synthetic diamonds, where high pressure heat technology mimics the geological process of diamond creation. So you found out about it, and then you said, I want to work there. I said, I want to work there. But you didn't work for him at the time. Not at the time. Wait a minute. So you're holding in your hands now. This is her diamond. You ever know, you know that song, Diamonds Are Forever? Diamonds Are Forever. And right. it, it's absolutely true. Right. So open it up, and that is Miss Piggy. So that's his dog. His dog? Yeah. That's the dog. Had his dog turned into a diamond? Yes. Wow, that is, uh, that's, uh, that, that's intense. That's intense. Yeah, yeah. Very He was intense. very, you know, he was very seriously uh, attached to that dog, as we, you know, many of us are. Yeah. We yeah. have a dog, you know, yeah. I'm yeah, a, but would you make a diamond out of it? Yeah, I wouldn't make a diamond out of my dog. Yeah, you wouldn't? Yeah. No. I love my dog, but I mean, I don't yeah. need a diamond of it. Yeah. Right. right. I have my memories. Yeah. Exactly. That's the real jewel, is the mm. memory of the dog. Right. That's the true treasure, uh, not the diamond itself. Memories. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, it's just enabling. It's enabling madness. I want to mention something you're doing. Before we have to go uh, to the to the hospital, both of us, uh, <laughs> you were going to Sacramento for I think a very good cause. You're going to help uh, with uh, a bill that's limiting plastic, uh, one use plastic. Is that right? I am. Yeah, I am. Yeah, tomorrow morning I'm going to fly there, talk to lawmakers and this and that. There's a bill that we hope is going to get passed, which will limit uh, the production of uh, plastic, especially single-use plastic. Because yeah. the amount of plastic that's going into the ocean every... 17 billion, or uh, huge amounts going into the ocean, yeah, and yeah. all of us, yeah, we gotta fix it, fix it up. We gotta clean things up. And... All right, well, that's a very good job. I'm glad you're doing that. Oh, uh, and, and, yeah. and, oh, yeah. Gonna, I think we're going to, before you go home, we're gonna give everybody a metal straw so they don't have to ever use uh, plastic straws Oh, is everyone in the audience getting a metal straw? Uh, everyone's getting a metal straw. Oh, fantastic. That's really nice. That's fantastic. Right. Oh, settle down. It's a metal straw. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. You act like this right. is Ellen. You'd be getting a flat screen TV. Yeah. I saw all those metal straws. I thought we were all doing cocaine after the show. <laughs> the World According to Jeff Goldblum is uh, streaming now on Disney+. Plus. Check it out. It's a great show. And uh, Jeff Goldblum and the Mildred Snitzer Orchestra's second album, uh, I Shouldn't Be Telling You This, is out <laughs> now. I love this man, Jeff Goldblum. He's I the best. I love you so yeah. much.